Under reporting, we also have a ledger report. The ledger report is the money that's been deposited in and out of an individual merchant's account. Uh, again, like all of our other reports, there's a, a start date and an end date, and you can go ahead and change that to basically any dates that you want. We also have a ledger category. Ledger categories allow you to search for individual deposit types. Some of those types include a, uh, a daily interchange, a daily discount, um, daily discount separate or daily interchange separate, which I can explain, the deposits, which is probably the most common, month end fees or monthly fees, reserves in the rare event that we have to take a reserve on a merchant account, uh, adjustments, chargebacks, or all. So for this particular account, if I just search for all, you see individual deposits for each one, and right at the end of the month, in this case 729, you see that fees were pulled out for that merchant. Uh, if I wanted to search to see if this merchant has had a chargeback, I would have to search over an extended period of time. And when I do, there were uh, a few chargebacks that have come through. You'll notice that there's both a debit column and a credit column. So a debit column means that a chargeback happened, and in this case, we pulled $30 from that merchant. And then the merchant fought the chargeback, and some days later, $30 was placed back into that merchant's account. Uh, you can also search on a ledger report for select dollar amounts. So if I reset and say, let's select for any uh, deposit between the amount of $1,000 and $1,500. I can go ahead and expand that range and find those individual batches that were for those amount, in this case, each one of which are deposits. The other point to note on the deposits is that the deposit shows the last four digits of the account where the money was deposited. And that's sometimes important when a merchant is changing their depository account. If they're changing banks and they say, okay, on the first, we want it to move over to this account, uh, this ledger report allows us to see exactly what date we were deposited into the old account versus the new account. There's also a reference number, and that reference number is clearly listed on the month end statement for the merchant. So uh, not that they necessarily need to tie that out, but if they are going back looking at their month end paper statement that arrives or is available online, they can go ahead and see that individual deposit.